Hi everybody, my name is Star and I am bringing it to you today on the YouTubes and on the Twitch uh, Firewatch. Uh, no, I am actually streaming this right now and kind of similar to when I did that Dragon Cancer. Um, the quality is going to be a little bit lower than normal. Uh, I'm not going to be interacting with chat except very, very occasionally if there's any kind of chat emergencies. Um, so uh, you're going to get the full kind of recording experience. Um, now I'm really excited to play this game. I have heard um, like nothing about it except for the fact that it involves a radio in some way and that everyone's really excited about it and that it's great and that's <laughs> that's pretty much all i know about it um i like to if there's games that everyone seems really buzzed about i try to not look into a game too much because i don't want to spoil anything for myself or know too much about a game i like just diving into it straight away without knowing anything um so we're gonna do just that we're gonna dive straight in no kind of concept of what is going on um apparently it's like two three hours long maybe uh so hopefully we finish this all tonight uh, let's just dive straight in. Let's go. New game. Yes, new game, please. Okay. I'm ready. Loading. It's like a... You know, pine trees like that always remind me of air fresheners. Panic Incorporated. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. It's a pretty background. I see Julia, okay. I see you, Julia. You're that uh, pink blob over there. Oh, I have to click it. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. I'm drunk. Huh. Huh. I, if I was, if I was a guy and I was drunk, I mean, if I was drunk in general, I'd probably say, you're pretty. You're pretty, she says coolly. You're not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply, confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waitress, and one week later, you're Julia's boyfriend. <laughs> Backpack. Pick it up. Okay. Oh, I can see my legs. Oh, look at my wiggly body. <laughs> wow. Can I not go anywhere? Okay. Now it's called Firewatch. Should I pick up this extinguisher? You think that would uh I think that would help in some way. Hmm. I feel like that orange truck is my truck. Let's go over to the truck. Load gear. Whoa, that doesn't feel safe. Just throwing my backpack on the back of my truck. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentleized German Shepherd. Nothing bad can happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. I pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. I prefer beagles to shepherds, so I'm gonna go with the beagle. Bucket's a good dog and a week later you've forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30pm, and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some kids, a couple little idiots.
In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah. I would like that, you say. These kids are gonna be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that the parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Okay. Where am I? What is this place? Uh... Can I go over here? I can't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I see that. There's a big fire danger. There's a big, big fire danger. Warning. Not running mecha invariant experience. Hikers, do not forget to check in. No fireworks. There's bears. Oh, great. This is... This is, uh, it's just great. Okay. Hmm. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. The next few days you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You look awesome. Hmm. Two forks. Fire lookout. Eight more miles. I can zoom in. Okay. Interesting. Space bar. Nineteen eighty two. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. B b ba fuck d d dog Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut. 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. I agree if she commutes back and forth. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you don't want to move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You see that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. Make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. <sighs> you see, I feel like the option on the left is the more logical one to choose. But if I were to be me in this... I 
I kind of tend to avoid things. So I'm going to do that. Make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. It works. We watch Dallas on TV and sleep together on the couch. Got a journal. <laughs> oh no, I wanted to look at that more. Damn it. Bucket is getting older. Julia Coleman said it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to university. Nineteen eighty-seven. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get to Julia, who calls you a dope and your unburned children little idiots. Other days, you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They're crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Nineteen eighty-eight. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with twenty-four hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You're determined to take care of her by yourself. This is a really pretty forest. <laughs> I like the uh, the style a lot. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. There's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. Nineteen eighty-nine. One night, you're stopped at a DUI tech checkpoint. You blow at point ten and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You'll say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Enter the lookout tower. Okay. Can I just go anywhere in this game? Can. Alright. Though I feel like there's probably not going to be much away from my actual objective that I'm going to need to explore. Uh, so maybe we should just not get lost. Because I will most likely get lost in these woods. So let's climb up here, shall we? 
Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, I could hop over into the center of the tower. Is there anything in here? Cist cistern. Oh, there. Let's hop over again. Uh, Turn. Well, it works. There's water, at least. Okay, right, let's go up to this tower. Let's shake off those feels and go straight up to the tower. Oh, man, already this game is hard-hitting. I don't even... I wasn't even expecting that. Like, I mean, I wasn't expecting anything, really, but I definitely wasn't expecting that. Is there anything on the outside of this tower? It's another, uh... Thoroughfare Lookout is over there. Okay. Anything else are in the surrounding area? Oh, there's a... Oh, no, that's my shadow. Oh, there's gas tanks here. Okay. Right, let's go in the tower then, shall we? Uh, open it up. Turn on the power. Okay. Pick up Hello, the- Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello. Uh. How do I reply? Hello? Oh, press. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Uh. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Oh, Henry. <laughs> okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. <laughs> good night. Welcome to the job. <laughs> Day one. Okay. Good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Uh, answer radio call. Oh, pick up the radio. Here we go. Uh, I wanted to change my... What am I looking for? My controls real quick to scroll up and down the dialogue. I'm gonna... Hmm. I feel like I needed some easier keys to press. But, uh... I'll just do W and S, I guess. Because I use the arrow keys because I'm a left-handed scrub. Hey. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's, what, 6? 6.45. Whoops. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. Aww. There's a thing yeah. in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Oh, God, don't just throw it on the floor. Pick up and place it. Put back. There we go. Jeez. Oh my god, dude. What's wrong with you? Put it back. Put it back. Put it. It's right in the middle of your room. Okay, sorry, dude. Okay, look. Got it. Got it. 
Um, got it. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Sorry. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- oh. What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West? Are those fucking fireworks? Where's West? I don't know where I'm facing, lady. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Is this a... Is... Which is West? And to use compass. Got it. Okay, uh, West is this way. Okay. Seriously, are you seeing... Oh my god, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, I see fireworks. I'm well, sorry. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Okay, okay. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Okay. Okay, uh... Can I write my ticket? Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. What? <laughs> one, two, three, four? Uh, convenient. Convenient. That's one word for it. <laughs> okay. Where are the stairs down? Oh man. West or weast? Oh, damn it! I just looked at chat. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> All right, let's get down the. Uh... Oh god, you walk so slow and it won't let me move. I can't. I can't respond to that apparently. Um, actually, I'm going to change the controls so they are, because I need to press a certain button for the radio. Uh, so if I have the radio as this, uh, where's my radio button? It's not on here, apparently. Oh, did, was it right at the top? I bet it was right at the top, wasn't it? It was right at the top. I'll use left control instead. There we go. That's better. Okay, there we go. Now I can move. Now I can move. Okay. Uh, M to read map. Find rope in NFS cash box. Okay, so I'm here. And I need to go... West. That way. Cash 306, so I need to head northwest, which is this way, so I need to head down this trail here. Okay, that's easy enough. Cool, let's do that. I don't want to lower my compass, I want to just keep walking this way. Uh, map. Okay. Keep going, keep going, down this... Can I not? Do I have to close my... There we go. Damn it. I can't climb over a log while holding a map, apparently. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. That's what I need. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> there we go. Okay, oh, I can... Can I radio her? I found a note between a couple guys. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. Ron, hey man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars he liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but... Yeah, one of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. One of those what? Which is kind of what the job attracts. Okay. Uh, let's just take this. Track down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. Take. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, do I want this? Copy information. Copy it onto the map, dude. Cool. 
Uh, granola bar. I can eat it. Oh, what? Don't throw it on the floor. Oh, come on, man. Hey, a snack. Hey, there's a snack in here. Probably gonna eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't lock it now. Let's just keep going, I guess. Um, deal with... Oh, God, deal with is quite strict. Okay, so they were more like west, weren't they? Which way, though? I think it's this way. Let's go this way. This way? Oh gosh. I hope it's this way. Uh that way. That way. This oh god, this way. Oh I'm gonna get so lost. I'm gonna get so lost. Oh, hello. Alright, I guess I just have to keep going this way. Let's follow this trail though. Oh these dang people setting off fireworks. Come on now. Where are you at? I can hear you. I can hear you. But I can't see the fireworks. They're over there somewhere. Oh, there they are. So I can't I can't just jump down here apparently. Okay. Oi. Okay. Okay, let's go. It doesn't look that bad. It really doesn't look that bad. Oh, this is pretty steep. Oh! Oh no! Oh! Ow! 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 Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. I am being careful, Mrs. Delilah Delia. My, 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 Delilah. Report Meadow. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, look at all this. Look at all this. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. I can clean them. Oh yeah, let's clean up this spot. So many beer cans. Let's make this spot a nice place again. Maybe maybe the lady will like us. Maybe I can drink more later and go wild. Uh, is that it for beer cans around there? I guess so. Oh, come on. Oh, whiskey. Sweet. I left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Save for later. I'ma save this whiskey for later. Ah oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, put back. I, I can report them, I guess. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. I did. I did, lady. What are these? Backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Okay, so we're not going to take their backpacks. Uh, campfire is on. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. Uh-huh. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain <laughs> stupid, does it? <laughs> nope. They are just plain stupid. Alright, well, I stamped it out. Uh, oh, comp confiscate them. Oh, 
Oh my, two pairs of clothes. All right. Um, well, uh, we're going to find out exactly uh, where these people are and who these pairs of clothes belong to uh, in the next episode. But I am going to end this episode here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm loving this game so far. I am loving it. I, I was so feels at the beginning and now it's really lighthearted and fun. And I don't know which way it's going, but it looks beautiful and I am having a blast. I'm hoping it's coming out okay for the Twitch quality. Um... I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye now!